Hello and welcome. Next I'd like to show you that how we can rebuild and repair and fix these Toyota Corollas brake calipers and these systems because now I have situation that is my brake calipers are totally stuck and they don't move like they should to move and that's my braking system is in bad status. And next I take these brake calipers away and for that job I need this 14 mm socket that I that I can open these two bolts and also this uh, this brake fluid hose what connects in here. And, and next I open these bolts and then I take this my brake caliper away and then I show that how we can clean and repair these brake calipers using Dremel multi-tool. And next we continue. Okay, and then when I have opened these bolts in here, we can take this brake caliper out. And this brake caliper opening happens so that I take that my brake caliper in here and then I go to press this my car's brake pedal and then we go to look that okay and there is this car's inside area and then we look in there this area where is brake pedal and it's our target and then we need to press that brake pedal like 20 times and for that job I have invented to use this wooden wooden bar what is in here the standard timber wood and I insert that in here and here are my hands in here and then then I start to press like in that way this I press that brake pedal using this my my tool and then when we go to look soon in this piston area I need to press that so many times that this piston goes out and then then we go to look this brake caliber and piston area next okay and here is this our target and now I start to press this <coughs> my car's brake pedal and so long that this caliper goes out. <coughs> okay. And now it should move. This brake piston is well, it's well enough out because it is actually, it takes contact in this metal plate. Okay, now brake fluid goes out. Okay, and I, I need to immediately take my cotton cloth because this, this stuff is very harmful. It is poison. I need to clean all of these things. Okay, and now this brake piston is free. And then, then we can continue. Okay, and now when this, uh, this brake caliper piston is out, we can go to look that brake caliper and also 
these other parts in my table and then I start to clean those but before of that of course I need to disassemble this brake fluid cable and soon we continue okay and then when this finally this brake piston brake caliper piston in here is free we can analyze that what is this this piston caliper status and for that job we need clean cotton cloth and first step is to clean this piston and then use protective clothes because this brake fluid is very harmful it it makes cancer to our body it is very very bad poison liquid all of these things are poison and, and now when I clean this brake caliper piston I can right away notice that that these areas what are in black when I use my screwdriver these are uh, bad areas these black things generates friction and they are like brake these stopping things because this piston should move very easily inside this cylinder tube in here and now when there is this black dirt this this is bad it's like bad stuff in here and I need to clean these things in here I need to polish that my piston and it must be as shiny as this area in here these are bad things okay then when we look in here inside this uh, this cylinder first we can take this this protective boot away and it opens so that we carefully move that out this that way this and we can purchase this rubber boots new one in the nearest Toyota dealership center and this is important to take out that we can look in there and, and there was by the way this yes there was this metallic pin yeah good and for that job there is metallic pin in there inside and for that opening I need now this sharp head tool there is sharp spike what goes in here and there is metallic this locking pin in here and soon I will open that it is just in that area in here there is metallic pin and when we look it carefully I can take there is this end and start point in some areas where we can when we check in here that where is this starting point because I can open that part in this place okay and where it is a little bit time then I, there is this metallic it is it is here okay in that position yes it and then when I insert that my tool in there, I can move that metallic metallic plate. Okay. And now it moves. Okay, now it opens. This is okay, and this is this metallic pin and now and this is like locking locking pin and then this rubber boot we can take out and we can maybe reuse that if this is fine but actually I recommend that we purchase new this rubber boot and here we can then look this inside area and it must be also as shiny as then this piston because when I clean that and if there is also corrosion it is bad and 
then the look in there inside. Okay, and there is lot of lot of corrosion there inside in these walls. And I need to clean also that area and all of these dirties must be take away and our target is that in finally this piston moves in their inside very easily and then there's also this one gasket what is this in here and it goes out when we use this sharp spike I can also carefully lift that there is this gasket important gasket and now now when I clean that we can look in there inside and we can check that what is the status and now when this is quite clean I can do this first test that now I insert that my piston in here and there is only this there is no any and now this piston actually moves quite nicely but but let's look that when I insert that my piston in this workbench and let's check that I, I fasten that in that way and then there is piston in inside and then then this part should moves very easily now I think that that when I install that in back in there, it goes by the way in one only one position in here. Remember that do not use force when you install that piston in there because it, it is very tight and then it moves nicely. This is this is very accurate tolerances and actually this moves quite nicely. And then I only need to clean these things and. And of course I like to a little bit polish that my my this these things away and next I will show that how to polish this this brake brake caliber piston and I and then I insert that my brake caliber piston in only in that that position I can compress in that no ever in that area because this is so sensitive but this is like durable area and then I insert that my piston in here in that way and actually I can insert that in this is a little bit better that we can see these things and now I am planning to polish it is my piston that it is totally clean and there's those bad things there are in here and and now I plan to remove these dirties in here these are bad and we can use this cotton cloth it, it goes nicely or then we can use this Dremel multi-tool and it's my task, task today that there is my this Dremel heads and now I take this Dremel multi-tools this uh, polishing, polishing disc in here and soon we continue when I am ready okay and here is this my Dremel grill pipes and I open this my package and now there is that kind of cotton polishing plate or then this, this kind of cotton head. And I think that now I now I use this these and then I take this grill and there is this, this drill pipe <coughs> where I insert this 
where I insert actually it is maybe in that part in here. This grill pipe and then I only I rotate the drill pipe in this polishing thing in that way could and then then I have in here this polishing green what is this uh, uh, met polishing compound there is small amount and this makes this polishing easier and then I insert this my polishing drill pipe in this Trinnell's multi-tools head in that, that way now it's ready and then I connect this cables I connected this Dremel in electricity and then I start to polish these things and soon we continue and before of that we need some safety things protective glasses they are must and also hearing protection it's good to use this protective ear protection hearing protection okay and soon soon we continue okay and there is my dremel and i started in here and then I start to pull it. Look that area. And then I take this polishing cream a little bit. This helps. Okay. Okay, cool. And then I take dirt this away using cotton cloth. Looks good. And then I little bit move that because here is dirt is. And. This Dremel takes these dirties away really fast, as we can see. And let's look that do we have some other dirties in here. Actually, this looks very good, Dremel. It was so fast. And now, now this now this Dremel polishing is over because this Dremel make this work so fast and those dirties are away and then I think that I like to also test that because there is this break this caliper and this inside area that can I a little bit polish also this inside area and that's I insert first this my Break caliber in this my workbench and I fasten this workbench is by the way excellent excellent thing this is excellent tool now this my break caliber is quite tight good and then I am trying to polish this inside area and it is really interesting first I take my cotton cloth and I clean the thing here. Okay. And then I think that I take my Dremel and then I start to polish and we continue soon. Okay, now we have you in there. And there is my Dremel. And then I start to Okay, 
Okay, it looks good. And that's, I think, that I changed this view. That we can see better that what is there happening. Because this is so nice. And then I polish this cylinder totally and also this inner area, this piston moves better. Okay, good. And then, then we like to look this my result and I take more light. Okay, and here is more light, and then when we look into the inside area, there is this, this is my policing, and I think that this Dremel police that area also very nice. And that part in here, this outer area, this is easy, useful to police in that area. Because this is in that way. And corrosion goes away. Okay, and then I can also rotate this my brake disc. That it is easier, easier to clean, easier to clean that my brake disc. And there is this, this area. And let's look in there. And there is this that area. There is corrosion in now in this that area. And I am planning to polish that area next. And I take a little bit this my polishing cream. There is this polishing cream. And then this, then this my policing is easier, and, and that area in here is just a little bit more speed. Okay, and now I think that this is more corrosion is away, and then I finally I need to take only this all cl cotton cloth stuff away, and in that way we can clean and remove this corrosion away in this brake caliper area. Okay. Okay, and now I. I continue this my policing so that I take all of this corrosion away and final step is that that I need to install these all parts back in there and it happens so that that first I insert that break this piston in here that way but of course before of that I need to insert this this uh, that boot and before of that there was that sealant what belongs in here in one way in their inside it goes in one way and and before of that I think that I clean this thing okay and then this break break uh, caliper and pistons cleaning and policings the mine mine target is that this this piston moves in here so smoothly 
than possible in that way. That it is smoothly, but still that there is not too much this tolerance. And this is the most important important thing. And then final step is that I need to clean these all things in using clean cotton cloth and all dirt is away in also in these gaskets, in this piston caliber and also this uh, brake caliber cylinder and all dirt is away and it's good to use many many clean cotton clothes and final step when everything is clean we can start to disassemble these parts back and when I have clean all of this totally then we need also some grease break break grease and this is actually actually this break lubricant and I have this specific grease this is not standard grease it is like break lubricant and here I have one brand and idea is that that this this break lubricant fits also inside in this break break caliber and pistons areas this is this this lubricant don't destroy this rubber sealant and gasket that's the point but I clean these things first and then I insert this lubricant and we continue okay and then I show to you that how to assemble this brake caliper and this brake piston because now these all parts are clean and remember all parts must be clean like this metallic this uh, gasket boots this locking pin all must be clean and use clean cotton cloth that all items are clean because it is must these pistons must be clean this gasket must be clean and this inner gasket and especially that that area this cylinder must be clean and then use that kind of workbench what I have because it is so easy to insert that brake caliber in here in that area and carefully press with, with that area not in this area and in that way because it is really easy to assemble when this brake caliber is in that position and then use use extra light that we can see in their inside and first step is that I take again clean cotton cloth and I again take all extra things in here away this cleaning is must and now note there is no any lubricant yet but soon I will add and, and this assembly happens so that first I insert this inner gasket and if you have difficulties uh, and if this gasket is broken please go to visit in the nearest Toyota dealership center and then you will get within in same day or in tomorrow this new gasket what last this 10 to 20 years Toyota's parts last long but aftermarket parts they don't last so long and this first step is to insert this gasket in only one way in that way not so that please look in that way no any rotation I insert that in here first in this hole what is in there inside and I start in this one area the starting point is must in carefully in that way now it starts in there and then I carefully insert that in here and I keep in other winger I keep this gasket in here and this is accurate job and this this end part what is in here it must be go in very nicely same way and final step is that look that all areas in same and then touch in finger and now now we need first time this specific uh, this uh, brake lubricant and remember no any 
standard vaseline or no any motor oil in there. This is special gasket. Look, this color is like this is like honey. Honey. And then idea is that I insert that lubricant now directly in that gasket because it is tight. There is more this lubricant and all areas through and use clean fingers, no any oily and no any sand in here. Remember, no any sand. This must be clean. This is really sensitive part. Be sure that your fingers are clean and if they are not, use cotton cloth and clean your fingers that they looks looks like that that they are very clean all must be and, and then final step is that that when this lubri lubricant is in there then I take this my piston and I clean that again and in that part it is good to insert a little bit grease in this area that area that there is lubrication in that way this is like this inner piston area, this is outer. And then I insert that in, in here just indirectly in that position. And this is the, for novice, the most difficult thing, because now there is compression. This inner, inner gasket takes back and it resists. And that's we need to press that in very steady and stable in same direction. And then it goes nicely when I we press in these points and a little bit movement and then it goes nicely in that way and then we stop remember no no end like in half because we need to insert that gasket next and this gasket goes so that it goes in in not in that way it is like in upper way look it's look different and first step is to insert that gasket in in that hole there is hole in here, this hole, and this part, this upper part, this goes in this hole, and it's good to start in this area because this is the most difficult area, and then when I little bit stretch that, we need to stretch that gasket, and now it goes in that hole, look, now it's nicely, it is in this hole, and then we have interesting thing, because in that hole, what is in here, we need to finally insert this locking pin. And it happens so that now I press that little bit down this piston in that way and then not stop, stop that do not press this totally in. And then I take my this spike tool and I insert that gasket in this hole. This is this is difficult and important thing that this gasket goes like in that way it goes on all areas this is bad in here and, and that area and, and be carefully and use liked and then it finally goes in there and check that also in this area is fine in here and then when it all areas are there it's nice because this is this is bad in here. Okay, and now it's in position. And final step is to ins insert that locking pin, and it goes in that hole in here. That hole between that and that, and it goes in. And it's good to start in one 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 place. That first this one end. In here and here is good to use also this metallic spike carefully that we don't destroy this boot but that we can insert that in the inside like in that way and then we start to rotate and we compress a little bit that that metallic pin and then when it finally goes in there we keep in that position and then this final end we use this tool and we insert that in inside. Now it is in the inside. And then we start to press 
that down. This is the final step. And this down press is very useful we have, if we have flat flat head screwdriver. We press that carefully so that this metallic pin must be totally in all areas. Also in here, this is bad thing. In that way, I I use my screwdriver in here, and this is bad. And then then I press and carefully, and then it finally goes in there. And we we need to check that that this metallic metallic pin is in there. And now, when it is finally in there, we can test using tongs that how this piston is moving and only that area we can take contact in this two millimeters in here not in this be carefully this can be go broken and that's big very carefully when you take this tongue contact very small amount and then when I rotate that in nicely I can know that this piston is moving nicely and then I can compress that piston totally and using my fingers in that way and if it moves in there nicely we know that everything is fine and now this piston and this brake caliper is ready for installation back and then we go to install that, that brake caliper back Okay, and now I am installing this brake, break this caliper back. And there is my 14 mm socket, and I, I tighten these bolts all very carefully. And in here, and then. When I am ready, we can start to bleed this system. Okay, and soon we continue. Okay, and then we need to bleed this our brake caliper system. And what we need first is that we need eight eight millimeter socket for fits in this bleeding bolt and we open firstly a little bit that bleeding bolt this is in here and this socket fits in there and I open that little bit and then we need specific this uh, plastic hose what goes in this nose and you will get that uh, this plastic hose in every car dealer ship and spare part shop and then I use I have in here bottle what is full of this uh, brake fluid or water water is also fine normal water an idea is that this must be full of this water in that way and I insert that my uh, bleeding this nose and pipe in here and then when this thing is in that position we need to go then to press this our cars inside areas break break this uh, pedal and let's go to do that next but before of that we need to check that we have enough this break fluid in our this canister what is in here and let's check this is brake fluid and this must be full and as I have I have it's quite empty and I need to add in there more this dot five or four lever brake fluid okay I will do that next I add it okay and now I have add this brake fluid and then please be sure all time that this must be all time full because now when we start to press this brake pedal this canister becomes very soon empty and we need to add this brake fluid many times when we, when we are pleading this uh, brake 
calibers. Okay, remember that. Remember to add more brake fluid within one minute. Okay, then we go to look this brake pedal area. Okay, and now we are in this brake pedal area, what is in there. And then I start to, to press. I, I had this long wooden lock. I can use that or then we can self-press that or our, our assistant can press this brake pedal. And then we start to press that brake pedal and, in, and when we press that something like 10 times we go to look this our brake caliper system next back. Okay, and then there is coming something air bubbles and it is good thing because now I need to go to press this brake pedal more and and let's look that how much there comes this air. I go to press brake pedal again and how what is the company? This happens so nicely. And now when there is this brake fluid in this, uh, this pipe, I can, I can notice that now this my bleeding works well. And then I can do so that I can think that now this brake caliper is almost okay. And I can fasten that bleeding bolt in here this bolt using my tool. Now it seems to be a little bit difficult, but there is idea that I I fasten that and, and if there is no coming this air bubbles and this fluid we can open this this bolt and close so much that there is coming something. This is like when we do that little bit then it is easy to handle and now it seems that this my I need to change this my socket position. But this is fine and then we go to bleed next caliber. Okay and now I am bleed, bleeding this next next break caliber and it's to bleed it is good to bleed all of those calibers what we have been open and of course if we have time we can bleed all of those four brake calibers and now this bleeding is end and this job is also end and now my brake calibers works well and thank you for watching that video and have a nice day to you